Looks like we're live. Except I can't see anything. Here we go. Okay, I guess I just play games while I wait for people to join. Try to get above 2200. idea that I can't take it hmm. can I do that Okay, so this is hanging. I'll just take this. Let's see. I'll take that. Okay. Hmm. I want to play B4. Let's do it. I have people watching my stream. Hey, guys. It's my first time streaming, so I don't really know what I'm doing, but I wanted to try it out. So I hope you can actually hear me. Hey, Rajesh. I'm going to be doing the uh, the simul, and so I wanted to just make sure I can actually live stream, and I'll live stream when I do the, the simul coming up. I cannot run out of time. Okay, it looks like my king needs to go over on this side. I don't want to let him go there. Maybe this. OK. 
Can I win that pawn? Okay, barely got it. Hey Rajesh, can you hear me okay? Does it sound like my normal videos? Because I have my mic in a in a different spot. C5. Okay. Okay, awesome. Thanks. Maybe I can go here. Queen a5, bishop d2. Bishop, bishop d2, is that good? Or just bishop d3 in castles? Yeah, maybe just that. Now I can go here get the bishop pair. is that he can't take this right no okay maybe 95 is the idea Do I care if he takes that? No, it's okay. Hey, goody man. Yeah, no problem. Glad you're you're learning something. Hey, Marcel. Markel, sorry if I mispronounced that. Okay, so this bishop's pretty strong. Let's see if we can just trade it off. And then this bishop's pretty bad, so my knight would be better. Yeah. 
Okay. Let's go here. And then we can attack his king now. I think. Can also just pile up on this pawn. Ah, we'll go for the the attack over here. What's up, Daniel? Okay. We've got some weaknesses here. Queen can go over. How can I get my knight there? Here would be good. So here, here, maybe. It's a lot of moves though. Let's go here. Hmm. So I can go there and then have a, a threat there, but the queen's kind of guarding it. Or I can trade off, but then it kind of opens up this file. Oh, I have 20 seconds. I didn't see that. I did not see that. That means I don't have time to find a checkmate. So I'm kind of slow. Ooh, that's bad. That's bad. Maybe F3. So I don't get mated there. Let's take this. Let's keep the file. We can trade. Okay. Should be able to win because knights are pretty tricky. Well, I still have the file, so this is fine. Hey, we made it to 2200 again. Bishop b7, uh, let's see. Yeah, bishop b7, like here, it's okay. Um, but I could have like played f3, and it's not really doing much there. Um, unless he's able to like play d5 and open it up. But yeah, you're right. I mean, bishop b7 is a little better. But a lot of times, if all the pawns are on the same color, um, then the bishop like has a hard time unless you can figure out how to get like behind the pawn chain and start taking all the pawns. But like in this case, that was kind of hard to do. So I think I could have got a good attack over here if I had more time, but three mini games are pretty fast. So sometimes you just gotta make, make moves so you don't lose on time. Level six stockfish, nice. Uh, I'll play a4. A lot of times they like to play b5, so a4 kind of just stops that. And now I think I can go for an attack over here, like this. So I'm gonna try to lock up the center. Uh, let's see, takes, 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 and then he's got a discovered attack on my queen. So I don't really want to take that. Got to be careful. Got to be a little careful. Okay. So. I don't think I want to open this up because I want to just focus on attacking over here. So I'm going to leave it closed and try to see what I can do on the king side. Yeah, so h5 is annoying because I don't really want to push or everything's blocked off. If I take it, then the knight can come in here, which is pretty annoying too. 
So I might have to push, just because that's going to be a problem. Yeah, it's unfortunate. So... Let's play a5 to try to keep these guys stuck. Maybe f4, f5. So he can do that, I'll just take it. f4, f5. It's a little risky because my king's here, but I gotta just make some moves, so we'll try it. Okay. Nope, that just loses a piece. I can't do that. So that was the plan, but then it opens the file on my king, so I don't think I want to do that anymore. I'm going to try to sacrifice the bishop over here, so the queen can come in. And then maybe I can bring the knight over. It's not a great position for me. Yeah, he wants to go there. Can't let that happen. Let's see. Can I do anything here? If he goes here? No, okay. Let's try this. Looks like he's going to be able to defend, but... Yeah, the rook covers everything. So I'm losing a rook, but maybe I can do something here. seeing anything guys not seeing it here no queen f8 here knight here maybe that's the move or here it's not good Yeah. So that's the problem if you uh, if you go for that attack on the king side and they're able to like blockade it like he did, then it's just not that great. So I probably should have could have done that a little bit better. <laughs> hey Jake, what's up, man? Did you uh, did you make thirteen hundred yet? Um, guys, I'm going to play five minute just so that I don't keep losing on time. Hey, JP.
Let's see. Yeah, Rajesh, getting low on time is a big problem for me, especially when I'm like streaming or recording. Um, I have a hard time like talking and thinking at the same time, and so it really slows me down, I think. Um, so I'd like to trade some pieces off here because this is not uh, looking so great. So I'm thinking of here to try to trade off some stuff. It looks okay. Oh, didn't even think about that. He wants to take here, and then what? Takes, takes, king here. And then he's gonna take my knight. Or take here, let's see, takes, takes. If I take that. Hmm. I mean, I think I have to take it. Right? It looks like I can go back, and then if he takes this, I can take here. Attacks the queen. If he takes here with something, then maybe I can take the bishop. Okay. Uh, okay, so I want to maybe take this. Then we have the attack here. Uh, queen here is a move. Okay, so this or here. If I take that first, that's no good because then I'm getting mated here. So it looks like I gotta take that. And if he plays queen f5 check, I can just like move the bishop back. Hmm. It's not great, but I don't see I don't see how I'm getting mated. Wow. So he wants to go here. Yeah, that's a good move. I'm I'm just lost. Cuz there's two mate threats. Both of those are mate. If I take it, this is checkmate. If I take the bishop, that's still checkmate. I'm looking looking if I miss if I'm missing anything, but I don't think so. I think I'm just lost now. It's a really good move. Hmm. Yep. That was a nice. That was a nice move. I just want to see if there was any way I could have survived that. Let's see. Nope, that was just really bad. Yeah, 95 was really bad. I didn't even see knight f7. So I should have just taken it and then played knight d5. Yeah. Okay.
All right, good to know. Hey, Rahul. Yanni. <laughs> yeah, man, we're going live, first time. I'm losing a lot, I'm losing a lot so far. <laughs> Maybe I need to play some crazy gambits. Maybe that's why I do better with the, the weird stuff. Oh, he's not going to take it. He's not going to take it. Hmm. Maybe C six. Yeah, the Yanni strategy, that's right. <laughs> no, I don't have enough brilliant moves to be uh, Yanni. No, this is just me playing. This is just me playing random games. Not doing so great at the moment. Can he go there? I don't think so. G6 takes, takes. Bishop's defending. Well, yeah, okay. I think it was okay. Mm. So let's just castle. Let's. Yeah, we'll just castle. So I want to get this rook to like an open file, half open file. Here looks good. Yeah, we can, looks like we can do something here because this knight can come in. Already got the bishop. I guess he could play c3. No. So there should be a tactic here. I could either take first and then attack the bishop, or I could play here. Bishop b3, and then just take it. Does he have any other moves? Bishop d3, I'll just take it. Mm, B3, no, I could still just take this, or play B5, that looks like the move. Yeah, okay, so now the question is, do I take with the bishop or the knight? I think knight looks stronger, because if he takes, then I take with the rook. He has to go there, and I have discovered check. And if he doesn't take, I still have a discovered check here. I mean, he can go king d2, but that's fine. Hey, Nick. Yeah, no problem, man. Hmm. Okay. So now the, the knight is threatened, so I can go here, 
attack the bishop here, attacks the rook and the pawn. This is nice because it's defended, so I don't have to like worry about it getting attacked here. I mean, you can play rook d2 and defend the pawn. And then I don't really see a good follow-up, so maybe d4 is just better. Okay, let's do that. So the knight's pinned. If we can play b5 and b4, we could win a, win a piece. He can't go here to get out of it. He could go to d2. So I gotta move the pawn anyway. Let's do b5 and then threaten this. So I'll just do a5 to threaten it again. Okay, so he got out of the pin. But I can still go there and chase the knight away and then the rook can come in. Sorry, come in to c2. Looks pretty good. Okay. If I go there, What's he going to do? Come here. Check. Or go there. Check. Or I can take this knight first. No, if I take the knight first, then the bishop controls that. So i got to go check first. So we'll do that. And then I might trade next. I'm looking for some sort of checkmate. Like bishop here takes, the rook comes in. I don't know if it works though. So the idea is here, if he takes, I can take. He's going to go there. Bring the rook. No, I can't do that because the knight's there. I don't think it works. Um, but I think I can just win a piece. Yeah, that's there we go. I guess that's the easy way. Because this is pinned. Okay. Do I have checkmate here? He's kind of in a mating net, but I don't know that I'm going to have enough time to figure it out. Here and here. Uh, no, that, I don't think that works. We're going to run out of time again. Story of my life. Hmm. Is this a winning king and pawn ending? I don't know. I think it is. Maybe not. Nope. Not quite. Okay. I have a new plan. I have a new plan. Did you make a living playing chess? Or do you used to, no, I, uh, 
I work full time, IT stuff. Um, but uh, I did get a scholarship to go to UTD to play chess. So uh, that was that was big. But uh, no, chess players don't make a lot of money unless you're like Hikaru or you know Magnus. I think they probably do okay, but. And I'm still figuring out this whole YouTube and streaming thing. So right now I still got a full-time job. This is kind of like my nights and weekends thing. All right, the goal of this game is to not lose on time. I don't care if I get checkmated. I'm just not going to lose on time. I mean, I'm not going to try to get checkmated, but if it happens, it happens. Let's see. <laughs> Sad life for chess people. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you got to do it for the uh, for the love of the game. take that because the rook comes over and then my queen has to go and the rook comes down here so I'm just gonna develop okay uh, it's okay you can have that bishop looks like looks like queen side is gonna be safer than the king side, although there is b5, and then this pawn's gonna be hanging. Hmm. Maybe I don't wanna let him do that. I'd like to get a rook on this file. This bishop has just been kind of annoying, but now uh, I might be able to do it. Because then he has to be careful. Yeah, let's try that. Because now I can go here. This is pinned. And then that's going to be a problem for him. So here, g6, and then what do I do? Or I can take it and move this here. Maybe I can just go here. Do I want to give him that? What if I play d4 or knight f5? Looks pretty risky. Eh, let's do it. I like to take risks. Let's do it. I guess the idea is... What's the idea? That it allows me to play here because... Blocks the bishop. I think that's why. And now I can try to find a tactic over here. Like sacrificing this or something. 
or taking here or knight here. G6, okay. Let's try this. Hmm. So I can go here, then he just moves his king, I can go here, then he's going to take this, hmm. Hey Ronaldo. <laughs> It, 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 uh, it hasn't been pretty. But I said that as long as I don't lose on time in this game, it's going to be a win. So I'm just going to make a move. I don't really know. I don't see anything good. Yep, now he's threatening my knight. If I take this, I'm just going into like a really bad position. But what else can I do? What else can I do this? Is that any better? Not really. I don't think. I don't know. Hey, Doug. Playing chess with Leonard. Hey, man. Can't castle. What can I do? What can I even do? Can I go here? He's gonna bring this over here. Can I survive that? Maybe. If he goes here, I gotta, t I gotta just take it. I think. And then the queen's coming in, and it's not going to be good, but maybe with the two rooks I can do something. Yeah, so if I don't take this, I think it's going to be real bad. So we'll go for this and see what happens. I mean, I think if this is a draw, it's probably good for me in this position. I'm worse just because these pawns, he can just like push these if he wanted to. I mean, it's not that easy, obviously, because I have two rooks, but I think I'm worse here. Hey, kid. Let's see. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. 
Did not mean to do that. I see a way to win this game. I see a way to win. I'm just gonna win on time. That's the that's the plan. What? I think I didn't mean to remove that. Hey, we did it. <laughs> we didn't run out of time for once. Amazing. Hey Kent. Hey Doug, how is my teaching stream structured? Uh, that's a great question. I don't know. I, <laughs> this is my first time ever streaming, so I just put teaching chess in the title, but I'm really not teaching. I'm just kind of playing and talking and losing a lot. I struggle with defending and attacking the early game. What could I learn to avoid that? Um, yeah, so early game, um, I mean, one thing is like, I try not to castle until I'm sure that it's gonna be an okay place to castle. So like, if your opponent's pushing all their pawns on the king side, you probably don't wanna castle there. That's one thing. So just waiting to castle until you feel like it's a safe time to do it. And then the other thing is when they do, like let's say you do castle king's side and then they start pushing the pawns, you want to try to counter attack in the center as quickly as you can because that's usually just the best way to deal with a, an attack on the side of the board. And then try to like create open files in the center and, and sort of like try to change the focus of the game from the attack on your king to like the center of the board. Um, that's kind of one thing I would say. 33 viewers. Yeah, Rajesh. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. It's a little bit uh, weird because when I record videos to post, you know, I don't like I can just edit out stuff. And if I make mistakes, I can just, you know, re-record it or whatever. But I can't do that now. So a little bit different, but I guess I'll get used to it. It's 8 a.m. in India. Well, welcome. Good morning. So, I wonder if I can hold on to this pawn here. If he attacks it, I can play c6. Looks like it. Maybe. Let's try to do that can't go a6 because then he takes and then the rook is going to be hanging but c6 looks like an option and okay so now a6 takes takes he's not going to give up his queen so it looks like I can do that Because this pawn's kind of annoying for, for white. So here's a good example of like, of maybe potentially avoiding an attack. Like if I just castle right now, his queen's already lined up on the square. He could play like knight g5. And then he's threatening checkmate, right? So I would have to, I could play like g6, but then I'm creating some weaknesses and the bishop's going to come in. And all of a sudden I'm going to have to start defending my king. But, like, I don't have to castle right now. I can do something else and just not worry about that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to move my bishop over here. And then that was kind of a blunder because you can take the pawn now. But the point was I didn't want to castle there. All right. Um, 
yeah, I should have paid attention to that. That was a, that was a silly move. Anyway, I'm just going to keep developing. It's, it's just a pawn. It's not a big deal. Okay. Um. Wow. Bishop takes h7. Usually, you can't do that because g6 traps it, but I guess he wants to just sacrifice it, which makes sense. King here, and then he's going to, like, take everything, even knight g5. Hmm. So I guess I guess I don't want to do that. Maybe I just play c5 and try to like do something here, open up this bishop. I'm gonna defend this bishop so that I can actually move my knight now somewhere. Wow, he's just castling just like that. Hmm. Could you walk us through what openings you're playing? Yeah, that's probably my problem. I'm not really playing anything. <laughs> a lot of times when I play speed chess, um, I, I will just play random stuff just to mix it up. It keeps it interesting. But sometimes it doesn't work out well. <laughs> sometimes it works out great, but... Like, this game, it was like a random... It was kind of like a Nimzo Indian, but not really. Um, okay, there's got to be a good move here. There's got to be a good move here. Nope, can't do that. It looks like there's some sort of like trick here, but I don't see it. I'm trying to get my queen over here. And I have 14 seconds now. Hey, Smash. Yeah, he saw that. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm, uh, I gotta work on this, sh this streaming thing, guys. Joey, you went from 700 to 1100 in 40 days. Nice. What's your advice just after the opening when there's no uncontrolled squares to advance to and it seems like the only way to proceed is to sacrifice a piece? Yeah, um... A lot of times it's just being patient and so like even if you're doing like a move that's doesn't seem like it does a lot but just trying to like get a piece onto a maybe a little better square um, and then just kind of waiting for your opponent maybe to do some to make a mistake sometimes that's the best plan it's hard to say without like looking at you know the exact position but a lot of times just being patient you don't have to force something if there's like not you know 
there's nothing there, don't sacrifice a piece. Just keep your good, good position and, and just wait. Um, does the best move in a position depend on how that position has been reached? Like the order of moves or even different moves leading to the same position? Uh, no, it doesn't matter how the position is reached. Like this, the same position is going to have the best move regardless. Don't sacrifice it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, infinite quest. Nice night, by the way. Looks good. Uh, do you guys have any other questions before I start another game? Because apparently I'm really bad at playing and, and reading comments at the same time. Yeah, no problem. You know what we can do? One thing that might be fun. Um, let me see. There's this... Uh, ELO guessing game. I don't know if you guys have seen this. I'll show you something. It's like ELO guesser, I think. Yeah, here we go. Alright, let me see if you can see this. Alright, so basically you uh, you have to guess the, the ELO from the players. They're rated blitz games from chess.com. Uh, and the difference is at most 200 points. Guess the yellow between 0 and 3,500. So let's see this game. Okay. Knight c6 is kind of a weird move. Okay. Ooh. Bishop takes g6. Hmm. That doesn't look like a good sacrifice. So that's a clue. Then like some of the other moves have been okay. Okay, there's a blunder, right? He's, well, the queen's trapped. So he thought he had to do something, I guess. Probably he could have just taken this. Hmm. Uh, all right, let's get to the end game and see what they did in the end game. I have an idea what my guess is going to be, but I want to see the end game because sometimes you can get a big clue at the end of the game. Okay, so there was that queen blunder. Um, other than that, I mean, they played okay. I'm going to say this is the part of the game where it kind of fell apart for white. I'm going to say 725. 917. Evil Storm, right on, man. 900. <laughs> Yanni. <laughs> 950, 1000. Yeah, you guys were closer than I was. 975. All right, let's try one more. I don't know how this scoring works. 45.59. How do they come up with that? Is it just like... Is 5,000 if you get it like exactly right? All right, let's see this one. Okay, so I feel like these guys, queen, queen e1 to h4 is kind of a, not like really advanced, but it's somewhat more of a advanced idea. h6 goes back, f5, ooh, knight takes g5. I mean, it looks kind of like a blunder, but then it also, 
see what he's doing. Right, he's trying to. Hmm. Oh, okay. So we hung a queen and resigned. Hmm. There was quite a few blunders, but white also had some good ideas. Like like this queen e1 to h4 idea to attack the king is, is pretty good. But then, like this sacrifice, uh, it's just not quite good enough because he's given up two pieces there. It's one back, but hmm. What do we think on this one? 1200, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. 12 to 1300 is what I'm thinking. Twelve twenty six, twelve fifty, thirteen fifty, ten fifty, ten fifty, twelve hundred. Yeah, I think you guys are right on. Let's go. Uh, let's go twelve ten. We'll go twelve ten. What? <laughs> what? That's me. That's me, guys. Twenty two thirty. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait. What? This blunder here, though? Isn't that... I mean, I guess it's a weird position, but... That's a queen. That is a queen. <laughs> 2230, wow. Alright, well. And then over here, like, this sacrifice just didn't work. But I guess he was... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we got zero. Wow. Yeah, maybe. Well, it says it's blitz. It says it's a blitz game, so. Uh, I think it has to be three minutes or more. But maybe, you know, what happened? Maybe he, like, used a bunch of time early, and then at the end, he was just, like, playing really fast at this point and just wasn't expecting. I don't know. Yeah, I just wondered that. Crazy. 22-30. Actually, I think... Let's see. Check out the game on chess.com. I think we can look at it and see who the player was. 2160 was playing against this IM. No, he wasn't even low on time. He wasn't even low on time. He just blundered. Blundered the queen. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. Well, 1200, 2230, what's the difference? Let's see this one. Ooh, what happened there? Hmm. He's moving the bishop twice, okay. Oh, bishop b5, see that's not great because c6 is just like an easy way to defend, defend it. And then bishop b4, so they're both kind of doing the same thing there. All right, ooh, okay, it works because the rook. So there's a there's a knight. Okay, he saw that f two was hanging. So they're, they're doing okay, but there's there's quite a few blunders happening here. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's go to like the end of the game. Oh, they managed to have a pretty even position at the end. What are you guys thinking? 900, 800? 850, 882. Yeah, I think it's. I think it might be a little bit lower. I'm going to say 750. Say 750. The opening seemed telling, yeah. Yeah, let's see. 1470. I'm not very good at this game. 
nine hundred points. Hmm. Wow, fourteen seventy. Okay. Interesting. Do you guys like this, or do you like when I play, or do you want something else? <laughs> what sort of rating inflation is this? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. 1470, 1471. <laughs> This is so funny. Do a few of these. Okay, let's do another one. All right. Oh, <laughs> we got a two move uh, victory. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> White just resigned here. He said, oh, knight c6, it's over. Hey, if we get a higher score than zero on this one, what kind of players resign after two moves? Um, somebody who, they're casual, right? They don't play like a ton. They don't care about their rating enough to actually play the game or an emergency happened. So I'm gonna say like 800, 2,500, <laughs> 3,000. Yeah, I'm with you, Evil Storm. Let's let's go with like let's go eight fifty. Okay. Hey, that was good, guys. We almost had it. We almost had it. Man, Evil Storm, I think you got a couple like right on. Pretty good at this game. All right, let's go to another real one. This is pretty short too. Okay. Ouch. Wow. So, hmm. This opening is correct, I think. 95. It seems like white knows what he was doing. And it seems like black just blundered this. But other than that, I think they know what they're doing. I think these are higher rated players. It's hard to tell. It's hard. This knight d5 move, I think it's like an intentional sacrifice. And it seems like he knew what to do as far as like this rook b3 idea. So, hmm. 1300, 1100. I, I think it's higher. I think it's like, I think it's like, uh, maybe like 20, 2100, maybe 600. 1200 let's see one of us one, it, one I'm either like way off or 2296 yeah because I could tell like that opening uh, white knew what he was doing and since you know there's only 200 difference they have to be pretty good save the video please okay Jake I, I will uh, I assume when I end it, I'll be able to figure out how to do that. Uh, this, like I said, this is my first live stream, so hopefully it saves it and I can just like, yeah, click a button and re repost it later or something. That was an interesting one. Missed mate in one. Yeah, he did. No, well, I mean, he may have just been like, well, I can't save it anyway, right, at this point. 
Here, I'll open it over here so I can draw arrows. 2300 and 2292. So at this point, there's no way to save this uh, bishop unless he just gives up his queen, right? Like anywhere you move it to. Sorry, um, that's happening. So he probably just didn't care at that point. Like if I was in that position, that's probably what I would do. Just move it and let him check maybe. I don't know. Yeah, kid, thanks for joining. Uh, I'm sure I'll do it again at some point. Did you announce the live stream? No, no, Yanni. This was spur of the moment. I didn't even know if anybody was going to join. I just wanted to see how to do it and uh, make sure I, like everything was working. And um, then people started joining. So I was like, all right, we'll just go with it. But n next time I probably will announce it. And I think the next one might be the... Uh, the simul where I play all the subscribers. So, all right, let's do one, one more here. Yeah, evil. Last one here. We'll just do this last game, and then I'll play some. Let's see. Okay, so Scandinavian. Okay, so they're, these guys are, they know what they're doing. They definitely know what they're doing. Well, I guess he has to do that, right? Because the rook's hanging. Hold on a second. I thought they knew what they were doing. Let's see. Let's go back here again. So there's a fork, but he takes with the threat on the queen. All right, so then white recaptures. He keeps the fork. Queen d6 is a good move because the bishop on d3, so, I mean, that's, that's solid. I think knight b4 is a solid move. e6. Okay, so, hmm, that's a pretty good move right there, bishop g5. Although, I think black could just take, yeah. Rook d1. Hmm. Those are some good moves. I think these are strong players. Let's keep going. Well, maybe not. <laughs> that's a that's a pretty obvious blunder. Maybe I'm wrong. So they they made some really good moves, but then they made some obvious blunders, although that could have been in time pressure. 1770, 1700. Yes, I do play the Scandinavian. Yeah. Yeah, the opening I think was okay. Um, it seemed like he knew what he was doing. It was a little weird. I think... Let's see. This is the part of the game where I'm not sure what was happening here. I mean, queen e4 is a weird move. That's not normal. But it's not like terrible. It's just not what you would normally play. But there were some good tactics there by white. I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going to go with 1915. J-Steel 89. Yep, I'm with you. Let's try 19. 1603. Okay. Hmm. Who said that? Didn't somebody say 16? Oh, 1700. Yeah, so you guys were close. All right. It's kind of fun. All right, I will play a few more games, and then uh, unless anybody has any questions or anything else they want to see, probably just play a couple more games and then call it good for tonight. I just was, like I said, just wanted to test this out and make sure I could do it.
Somebody said increment earlier. 5-5. Five, five. I think that's a good idea for me. I need it. Yep, yeah, evil storm. That's right. Let's do 5-5. Five, five. And I'll try to talk through the opening choice a little bit since someone had asked about that, I think. I can't remember who it was. My first game ever was 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, didn't realize how fast. Yeah, 5-5 five, five still fast. But the increment helps a lot just because if you ever get into like a completely winning position, you, you won't lose on time. You can just play on the increment. But like early in the game, it doesn't really change much. Try to play the fried liver attack. Okay. <laughs> I will try. I think not as many people play 5-5, five five, so I have to wait a little bit. Jay Steel 89 nice first stream. Thanks for the content. Thanks, dude. I don't even know what that is, but it's like flashing green at me. <laughs> is that like a super chat or sticker or something? Well, whatever it is, appreciate it, man. Yanni, I got money. <laughs> wow. He donated money. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can say that you were the first person to ever donate money on my stream. So, looks like a tip. Yeah. <laughs> Well, hopefully one day I can uh, do this full time. That's the goal. I'd love to do that instead of like my current job, you know, the, the normal nine to five deal. Like I like teaching chess and stuff a lot more, so. All right, guys, apparently nobody is playing five five tonight. So let's see what else we can do. Let's Let's try like a 10 minute game maybe. People play 10 minute more, I think. Let's try that. What's your nine to five? I uh, I do like IT stuff. So yeah, it's uh, all right. So as far as opening choice, you guys know I like to play the Scandinavian, so that's what I'm doing here. Stream looks and sounds great. Awesome, thanks, Charlie. All right, so we can play the Icelandic Gambit. This is uh, this is always fun. Ah, oh, d4. So he didn't take it. If he would have taken it, that's when it gets like real interesting. This way, it's just kind of like, um, what is this? Like the exchange French something. Um,
All right, so I'm thinking about, can I take this pawn? If he plays d5, I've got it covered. I can just take it. Um, he could play, like, check and then take it, which is fine, I think. I'll do that. Oh, okay, so I guess that's the idea. Hmm, can I play b5? And then knight takes, and then just take it? Am I missing something here? It looks to me like, like it's a free piece. Queen a4, b5, knight takes, and then I just trade it, and just, like move my queen or something. Can't you just take the bishop? Yeah, it looks like it. Um, I'm just like taking my time because he played it so fast that I'm like, is this some kind of trap that I don't know about? But I'm like, the only move is queen a4 and then I have b5. Is there some other random move after that? He takes here, I take, he takes, and then I have three pieces, and he only has two pieces, so... I mean, this looks like a free piece. I don't see it. I don't see it. Whatever he's planning, I don't see it, so I'm gonna just go for this. Yeah, I mean, I guess he didn't see b5, maybe? I don't know. Okay. And then I should just be able to go here, or I could even just do knight d7. So if I go queen here, he could play queen here, which looks uh, a little annoying. So maybe here, if he castles, bishop e7, rook e1, and then I can castle. Yeah. I think we're good. I don't see anything. Okay, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, looks like just developing. Bishop d6 maybe makes sense. The knight can go there. And then I can move the queen over. So bishop d6, knight here. Queen here. He does have like queen e2. I can play king f8, and I think that's okay. Looks good. Do I have any other moves that make sense? Bishop e7. No, that's not probably not as good. All right, so we'll go bishop d6. I mean, maybe this is some weird, like, peace sacrifice line that I've never seen, but I don't know. He's playing really fast if it's not something that he's already, you know, learned. Playing really fast for a 10 minute game. So I'd like to castle, but I'm expecting queen e2 check, and then I won't be able to castle. I'll have to just go to f8. Right. Um, but it's okay. I mean, I have a piece, so like I'm still, I think it's worth it. Um, I'm just looking if there's any other moves, but nothing else works. I can't do any of those, so I have to go here. Okay.
So I'm thinking maybe queen b7, attack the knight, and then I can bring this rook over. Gain control of the file with the rook. Where's the knight going to go? Here. Let's still play rook there. Or I could take it. Okay, let's do that. The idea is I'd like to get this rook on this file, and so I want to move my queen to let that happen. <laughs> Anytime they beat you, it's cheating. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> no, Yanni, it's like... Um, well, first of all, it's it's hard to tell, especially if the person is, is smart. But some people, when they cheat, they don't care about getting caught or they just don't know and they just will make every move what the top engine move is. So if you go back after the game and they have a score of like 99 and they play like every three or four seconds, they just make a move and it's like the best move every single time in like really complicated positions. Um, and they do that for multiple games in a row, then it's there's a good chance they, they're probably cheating. Um, but, you know, if it's just like one game, it, it, they might have just had a really good game. So you can't like just assume that someone's cheating if they play a really good one game. But if it's like, you go back and look at their history and you see like 10 games in a row that they played perfectly, that's pretty rare. Um... I'm just looking to like centralize the queen here on a place that uh, can't really can't be harassed by the knight, can't be harassed by any other pieces. So queen d5 looks pretty good. Yeah, Kevin, no problem. Glad you learned something. Yeah, Joey, I guess you just gain rating points, and some people probably think it's fun to, like, beat grandmasters and stuff, you know. So next we'll probably bring this rook over, and then... I don't know, I might even play like h5, h4, just because this rook is over here, like, let's do something with it. And his king's there, why not? He's got to move his knight here, or maybe bishop d2 to defend it. Yeah, bishop d2, okay, so let's get the rook on the uh, file first. And now I'm thinking of, depending on where he moves his queen to, maybe I can attack over here or play like h5 and push this pawn up. Okay, so I'm considering going here. h3 he could play. And then maybe I could play g5, g4. I could go here and just set a little trap, but that would kind of be playing hope chess. Like, if I go there, I hope he doesn't see it, you know, and if he doesn't see it, I can take here and win the queen. But if he does see it, that's probably not the move that I want to play. So, 2100, most likely he's going to see it, so I'm not going to do that. You shouldn't really play hope chess anyway, so I'm going to go here and start to create some threats. Uh, let's see, g5, g4. I'm gonna try to move faster so I have some time to like actually find a good move later.
Okay, so if I go there and he trades, um, he's going to have six pawns. I'm going to have four pawns. It's probably enough. Looking if there's any way to avoid that. Like maybe just go here. What's he going to do? Bring his queen over. Um... You can also go here. Then he can take that. Yeah, maybe I don't want to allow that. Alright, just so I don't run out of time, I'll just do this. We'll just trade. I think we can win this endgame, though. Should be able to. Okay. Hmm. H five. I'm just like looking. It almost looks like there's some like cool checkmate over here. I just uh, trying to find it. Like, I can threaten it, but I don't think it works. You can just stop it. Like, g3. Then maybe h4. Or I guess you could play f4, but that's not good because of the fork here. So, I'm setting up, because my knight's covering these squares, I can go here, which is checkmate. If he doesn't stop it, which he could play g3. Then h4. Threatening to take here and open up the rook. Or f4, but then he loses the exchange. I guess he can't really stop it any other way. So, probably g3, h4. Then what does he do? Pushes it again. Then I just take it. Hmm. It's definitely a good position for me, but where's the the win? I guess I can push this or try to get this knight involved. No, knights don't move diagonally. <laughs> but you can draw arrows that way. Hmm. I'm just going to trade. I can get away with simplifying just because I'm up to peace, so it sh should be fine. So I gotta get his king out of the way of the pawn, so I'm gonna bring the knight in to do that with the check here. And then I can push this and get a queen. Okay, so I can't go there, but I can go here. And I'll bring my king up to help, so his rook can oh yeah. Well, it's not really what you want to do. Okay, well now it's a lot harder to win. Mm. I mean, yeah. That was just bad blundering that night. 
Okay. Let's take this and push this and see what happens. He's going to push his pawns too, so I have to be careful. What is happening here? And I just lost, I think. Yep. Wow. Okay. Let's go back and look at that. So, first of all, somebody asked the current move. Yeah, so let's go. Let's go analyze this a little bit. So at this point, uh, G5, I'm okay doing that because for one, like all his pieces are kind of like not over here. And two, I have plenty of pieces here around my king and I wanted to um, get rid of this pawn and that was like the best way to do it so that I could create checkmate. So that's why this was okay. Um, and it actually even like opens up you know, if I want to bring my king kind of this direction, you know, it probably is a good idea. So that's why that was okay. And then let's go see. Let's let's go ahead and um, turn on the engine. So I'll click analysis. And I just want to get to that end game position. Not end game, sorry, this, this position. Yeah, I think I was like way ahead here. Let's see. Okay, so it wasn't actually as good as I thought it was. Um, I was just up the piece, basically. Minus, you know, see, minus three, basically. Okay, here. Rookie four. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, so basically, I just blundered the knight uh, right here. That was just... Uh, pretty obvious. I was just playing faster. Um, oh, I had mate in four. Rook c8, which is threatening checkmate here. Okay. So he has to play rook e4 check. And then all I have to do is move my king. And he has no way to stop the mate. Wow. So yeah, this is a perfect example of a mating net, <laughs> right? His king is completely trapped. And so in my mind, I was thinking he's going to bring his rook here, attack my knight, and then I have to like deal with that. And so I wanted to use my king to like defend it. Um, just obviously missed this fork and the fact that there was just mate here. Hmm. So yeah, that would have that would have been easy way to win, but... Yeah, good night, Yanni. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, J Steel, move 28. Let's see. Move 28. Knight G3. Um, yeah, I thought about that too, but I think takes, takes, and his king goes here. Let's just see what the engine says. Yeah, takes takes king g2 yeah and so even though it looks pretty good like if i go here his king's just gonna come out and i don't quite have enough um it looks like yeah it's saying it's equal so i did i did want to play that too um 
because like opening up the rook looked good, but once the pawn gets in the way, he can just do that. Yeah, so I have a book. It's called um, Winning the One Game. And I bought it just because this kind of stuff happens all the time in chess, right? Like you're you're doing well, you're playing good, and then bam, you like, oh, you blunder at night. And then even at this point, I'm still better. But then, like, I don't know, it's like mentally it kind of messes you up, right? And then you start like, you don't even know what you're doing anymore. And like, I just let him push these pawns. So anyway. All right, guys, um, I'm going to call it a night, but uh, I will try to, like, announce this next time so that um, more people will be aware. And, um, hey, man, if you're just Odinson, Thor, um, sorry, I'm just about to turn in, turn in for the night. But, yeah, I will try to... Um, but like I said, announce this next time so that everybody can be aware that it's happening. Um, thanks, Joey. Yeah, Jay Steel, you got it. Thanks for my, my first donation. Appreciate that. It feels good. Thanks, Ronaldo. Take it easy. Uh, sorry, Buster. Um, you know what I might do? I might uh, I might just like post this as a as a random YouTube video so you can watch it later if you want. I'm guessing that shouldn't be too hard to figure out how to do. I haven't seen what happens when I click end stream yet, but we'll we'll figure it out. Evil Storm, how do you reach this level? When you win, it gives you like seven points. Uh, yeah, I mean, as you get higher and higher, it gets harder and harder. Uh, you just gotta keep winning, basically. Oh, Buster, thanks, man. Appreciate you. You are the second person to donate ever on a live stream for me, so appreciate it. Uh, what's the rule for only two bishop endgames? Are you asking about like when you're checkmating with two bishops or like when both players have a bishop? Fly high, Dale. What's the time there? Uh, it's like, it's like 1030. It's like 1030 over here. Yeah, like one person has two bishops and a king left and the other has just a king. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, let me go to the uh, analysis for a second. So basically, you want to get this position, you, you centralize your bishops, you create a V like this, and so the bishops are covering all the squares, uh, so the king can't ever get out of this this V, and then you just push them backwards, and so I'm um, like, I would just move here, he would move here, I would move here, I'll go here, and so I just made the V, uh, sorry, made it a little bit smaller. Man, I cannot draw arrows at all. <laughs> And then eventually, you get this position, um, 
where he only has two squares to go to. And then the idea is you have to pick a, a corner. It doesn't matter. So like I'll pick this corner because my king's closer there. So you force him to that corner. So you bring your king up. He goes over. And basically um, you have to do a waiting move here. So you just move one of your bishops. And it, that's the only square he can go to. And then since you want him to go this way, you have to take away that square. So you go there. has to go over. You go there, you take away this square, he has to go over, and so your king is basically keeping him from, from coming off the back rank. So once you get your king in that position, then you use the bishops to continue to force him over. And so he has to move. Uh, you go here, he has to move. Uh, or sorry, um, let me back that up. Before you move there, you bring your king over, otherwise he's going to escape here. So you bring your king over, then you do this, and then you just go check, checkmate. So basically create the V in the center, push him back to the side and then choose a corner and use your king to shield him from from coming off so oh you can't see all the board sorry uh yeah it's because the analysis mode like resizes it but the idea is the same um there you go All right, guys. Well, uh, like I said, I got to go, but uh, I will try to post this and uh, I'll catch you guys later. It looks easy when you explain it. <laughs> yeah, I've, d I've practiced it before. It's really not that bad, uh, but you do got to practice it a couple times. The waiting moves with the bishop is the, the trickiest part, just getting that correct so you don't like get stalemate. But once you figure that out, it's, it's really not too bad. So, all right. Um, I will, like I said, I'll post this later for everyone who is late and uh, wanted to see the earlier part. Um, take care, everybody. Stay sharp, play smart, take care. <laughs>